All right, so here's a little taste of a Palo Alto cemetery. It really caught my eye, the size of these stones and the areas taken up. <sighs> There's a lot more uh, big stones, I think. Or at least they paved the ground a lot. Some big teepee. Well, maybe about average, just slightly above. Slightly above average in the amount of cement used. See, that, that one won't ever get um, uncovered. You have to break through the concrete to, to dig that body up. <laughs> it's almost like that's, that's the theme for this one, is they put concrete over their burial spot so you, it's not easy to dig them up. Maybe they're buried with jewelry. I believe this is uh, considered the Stanford shopping area. Wow, they got this right on the street. That should be illegal. Another one on the street. Why they had to put the homeless day shelter so close to Stanford is beyond me. It seems a little too close to the college. Yeah, they don't even have to clear out here not along the road of Stanford. Look at that how established. So well established. No parking, such and such. You know, a lot of trolls seem to wonder, why do homeless people tend to run into cops more often? You know, you gotta put two and two together there. Both are outside very frequently. This truck makes frequent life changes. Goodwill. Never seen that before. I'll come across the smell of poop or pee um, by some of these these uh, uh, the RVs and uh, trailers. These RV people use chalks. This guy didn't though. He just drove right up on the sidewalk because <laughs> it's just uh, they want they want it to be perfectly flat inside the RV for long-term parking. Two hour parking around here, eight to five, once per day on the block. Unless you have a CT permit, and I've been looking for them, I see that they're on the bumper 
on the passenger side of the rear bumper a lot of these people have those stickers not that truck though Hewlett Packard is a huge campus some ducks flew over the Lockheed building to show who has the better flying technology Looks like VMware is making an entirely diff uh, new building. I know a tremendous amount of information about water. And this yeah. is what I've been doing for 30 years. Okay. But everybody that I've wrote this up for, okay, mm -hmm. has tried to implement it for themselves. Mm -hmm. They start seeing dollar signs and start I, seeing this yeah. start making sense. But it won't work unless it's for all the people. We I, the people, for the people, by the people. And I'm telling you that that constitution mm. that was written on hemp paper, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, <laughs> I've heard something? about that. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, they, they actually wrote laws that said you have to grow hemp or marijuana. If you're a farmer, 20% of your output yeah. has to be because they used it for ropes, they used it for paper, they used it yeah. for everything. It's the most useful plant on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. Now it's, they've demonized it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay? And it's wrong. Right. Yeah, it's it's a lot of yeah a lot of uh, like hunting regulations. We you know it's free hunting back in the day. Now we we can only bag a buck a year or something. Now and everybody it's it's, it's owns something. They yeah. ownership. Well, you yeah, know what I'm the, saying? The front the frontier was declared closed in the 1890s. So since then, you know somebody's always owned something as a part of the United States, government or private. The guy so, um, that gave them sold them the well sold him the rights to his well. His name is Lockamer. Talk okay. about, and, and when I took off, it was just like this deal. I drove 1,750 miles in that's the last three days. That's too well, much. I drove, I drove 750 miles to get to that place, okay? Mm -hmm. And I drove, and to find this Lockamer that did this, I drove all over, and nobody would tell me where he was at. Nobody was, he owns a ranch, he, owns, he controls 70,000 acres. Mm -hmm. Lockamer, how rich can you be? How rich is enough? So anyway, when well, I met him, he was so you ever hear eighty. You ever hear of land, land rich, cash poor type of thing? You know, you can't measure him just on what he owns for for land. You know, he's into the banking even. He's they finance he's, their own. I mean, you know, they're part of. And he sold this Lock, rights Lockamer. for three Lockamer, three million dollars. He sold the rights to sell. He sold the. And it was so bizarre going there, and he yeah. lived in this giant. Giant gingerbread house. It looks like a gingerbread house out in the middle oh, you, of this ranch. You visited I him found him. Yes, okay. I found him. And he let me in the house. But I get there to mm -hmm. this it's a big old, it's probably built in the 30s, huge. And all the porches are 12 foot. All the way, the entire house has a okay. porch around it. And it's enclosed. Yeah. And it's 12 foot porch. 
you know, I mean, it's huge and it's just old, really cool stuff. It was a great house. Yeah. Go inside. And he's anyway, just, he's just letting people in. <laughs> no, like, he doesn't. Nobody he, was. His he, son, in fact, probably, came and they were going to have the law there and they wanted me out of there. Oh. Never let me come back again. Oh, you came as a protester and all No, that. I came oh. and talked to him. I just came to. That was oh. after I did that, I went looking for him. And so I drove out oh, to yeah. his place, looked all over, nobody would tell me, and I finally found him, okay? <clears throat> and so I drive into this ranch, and I find this big old gingerbread house, and I start, I park, and I get out, and I first thing I do is I hear this music, this organ music that is just phenomenal. It was so beautiful yeah. that I didn't want to <laughs> knock on the door. But I mean, it's just oh. roaring. It was crazy how loud it was. I thought somebody's playing the, the organ. It was oh, eerie. It was like something out of a... Out yeah. of a movie or it's, something it's, you, find, you hear that on church grounds if you go to the right churches so i waited until the music stopped and i banged on the door and i heard somebody yell come in and so i walked in and uh, <coughs> i walked in this entryway and this entryway come is in. huge it's like from here to there is a, this big old everything's grandiose yeah. you know what i'm saying and you turn and you go this way for like six steps and then you hit a landing and there's a big old, almost a walk-in closet where coats and stuff are hung. And then you walk up another eight steps or so up into this kitchen. And the kitchen was 36 by 36. Yeah. It was from here to that black car, maybe bigger than what I'm saying, oh. telling you. From here to that but black he, car square. He probably didn't. And the only thing in that kitchen, it was all black, or brown uh, tile. Mm -hmm. and, and the only thing in there was this brown five foot by eight foot counter in the middle of the room with a copper hood and a cook station in the middle yeah, of it okay and he's leaning on it with a bar and I, when i walked in i thought oh my god it looks like a giant button in the middle of the room yeah i thought he's leaning on the button that's yeah, exactly yeah. what i thought about and he goes so what's up and so anyway he said uh who are you and i said well i'm james osborne and <laughs> i said and he so said i, I know yeah. who you are oh, and he said right. uh, i said yeah i'm from ainsworth and he goes ainsworth so do you know morris skinner because yeah. nobody knows more Skinner. I said, yeah. My grand, my great-grandparents raised right. Maria, his wife. No okay. way. I said, yes, he did. Because more Skinner's already dead. He's older than this guy. Yeah. And he's a paleontologist, just well-known, famous paleontologist. But okay. my grand, great-grandparents raised his wife. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So that's how I do it. There's a connection and, there. Yeah. And his actually, his son lives in Washington, Tom Lamb. Okay. And... He was two years older than me in high school, but we ran around together. His mom, or his daughter, Barb Lamb, is good friends. But, but to, to the point so, where he eventually kicked you out? No. Oh, he we, never kicked you out? No. Oh. He goes, he oh. sat there and we talked and, and debated whether or not this was right or wrong. I don't care if it's right or wrong. I'm doing what's best for my ranch. And so every argument that I had, the answer was, it doesn't right. matter. I'm doing what's best for my ranch. Yeah, he's not government. And, yeah. He's, and, he's a private, private citizen, so... Yeah. So he's taking this $3 million and investing it in his ranch. Yeah. Well, we spent an hour together and we enjoyed and we talked about paleontology and different things because yeah. Morris Skinner had been out to his ranch. Yeah. And so he we had a common like, time. He didn't pat you down for guns or anything? You, no. Yeah, there's nothing like that? No. All right. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's, that's, that's just weird. He just, he just yelled, come in. You know, it, but it was, you didn't call ahead of time to let him know. You just kind of showed up. And then he was just like, come in. And it's, it was he surprised to, where, you know, he didn't expect to see you, right? Just, but he still invited you in and you just had a regular conversation. <laughs> when I left, he said, you come back and visit again. <laughs> I like you. All right. Okay. We talked about the Bible. And he goes, oh, oh, you want to talk about the Bible, huh? And yeah. he was opposite. He was absolutely anti-Bible. And so we talked about that for a while. Oh. But you see... Here's what I'm trying to explain to you. None of this stuff that happens, and in fact, what's well, going on now, and even with you right now. See, yeah. I pulled in next to you and parked to you earlier, and yeah. then I moved my car into a shadier spot so the dog yeah. could be in the car. But I knew that there was a connection before. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's it's like, how do you explain the cow that got on the road? You know, it's um, some people explain it differently. It's, you know, some people say it just walked on. Other people say it's divine intervention. Um, it's... I believe it just walked on. It's just, I see that. I you understand. Know, cause I'm, I'm outside a lot. You know, it's, I'm just checking things out and seeing all kinds of unique things. I saw a few things that surprised me today, just on my way to Palo Alto and back. So I, um, I was definitely, I'm definitely curious what you're doing because it's, 
you really first you got a lot of passion for it, and you don't you, you're talking in, te- in intelligible sentences because you know you're not you're not you know you, you ever listen to schizophrenics? Mm-hmm. They just they make no sense, and it's uh, you, so there's you know there's not that, and you're giving yourself credibility with the video. I'll tell you, social media can really give you credibility. That's I mean, look at Trump. That's it's kind of how he got elected, and Obama and Obama as well. They they relied <laughs> on that. So, I believe in God, without a oh. doubt. See, I'm one of the fortunate people. All right. Yeah. There's this. Uh, um, it's 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 yeah. It's pretty diverse here, actually. Oh yeah. yeah I know. It's, I've for had... for religion, it's pretty diverse. I think. I'm not talking about religion. It's... I don't oh. go to a church. I don't believe in these religions. Yeah. I do not believe them. I'm a follower of Christ. I believe yeah. in the Bible, and All right. I believe the Holy Spirit will guide you if you let it. Okay. Okay. All right. That's and that's what I follow. Yeah. It's just too bad it doesn't pay for gas. On he your does journeys. pay for gas. He, he pays for Are gas. Are you kidding me? Oh. Uh, okay. <clears throat> well, um, there's there's this one guy who, who drives. Uh, he called something the something bus, uh, the happy bus, but he, he has these religious messages on the bus, and some guy donated him five hundred dollars because he just he saw those messages and thought it was something divine or something and. I don't have that, to. He brings he, the people into my life. This isn't. Yeah. This isn't the well, first I, time that something's happened, and, and you'll have to become convinced because yeah. you have to believe before you can do this or be a part of it. So you, I mean, I'm I'm not here to convince you. I yeah. don't have to. Okay. Okay. I, I no. don't. And and I don't it's, want. See, people are afraid because they think I want something from them, but I don't. Yeah, it's you know. Um, well, no, you're 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 trying to get some money for uh, the the fight against the fracture. For everybody, not for me to be rich. Yeah. If I wanted to be rich, I'd have kept one of those jobs. Yeah. I've had great jobs. <laughs> you know what I'm well, saying? Uh, how is work in Nebraska? Though it's got to be for me a I, competitive, but it should be getting oh, it's it's shitty. Be, so everybody's got three it, jobs. Their minimum wage yeah. is nothing. Um, yeah, you ever? You you ever know, but I I'm I'm the guy who walked in off the street. And went uh, to work for UPS and started driving. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah, that I, doesn't happen. Well, and I went from easy. there to General Electric, okay, into their uh-huh. engineering program. And I went two years to that, and they closed the doors. They oh, sold okay. the, the stocks, went from $86 to $0.86. Cents. But, and all the management got yeah. out with millions, and everybody else got dumped. So yeah. anyway, I went from that back to nursing school. And then I went from nursing school to work for the Department well, of Defense, okay. the federal government, in nursing for the Veterans Hospital, and I thought oh. it was appalling. I cannot do something that's harming other people. Oh, our harming? medication and okay. our, medi- our <laughs> medical system is a joke. I don't trust it, no. <laughs> it, we're killing people, literally killing people. Yeah. We, and, you know, I mean, I don't want to go into all that because, yeah. but you see, the more you see, investigate many, every how, angle. How many years of nursing? Uh, four years. Four? Okay, that's pretty good experience. Oh, yeah. I yeah. learned exactly what I didn't want to do. Oh. She'll be fine. I need a drink. Oh, a drink, yeah, okay. But you see, everything, you know, coming out here to meet this guy, <laughs> and now I think I'm going to meet uh, Mark Zuckerberg is one of my targets. Well, good luck okay. with that. There's yeah, a lot of, they get a lot of, the security is really tight. Oh, I understand at, at that. Facebook. I'll tell you what, that's, um, I just watched some guy's video. He was just doing some First Amendment recording of the, the Facebook and, um. Selling our information? Uh, he was. I don't know. He's just, he, the security was tight there. I found a Facebook sweatshirt um, on one of my bicycle rides. Maybe maybe I could sell that to you, and you can um, you can wear it to Facebook, and maybe slip in that way. It'd be like, hey, you know, I got the official. <coughs> but uh, I don't buy. Did your dog just eat something? Does he eat the. He's hungry, right? You got no, food in the she, car, though. She just. What are you she just ate. He's eating. Chewing up the the wood or something. All she right. just ate. I just fed her a can of dog food, and she has dry food. I buy dog food before I buy food. You you buy dog food before? Okay. You make.